I have a great view out here, just overlooking the interstate, and I can see all the way across town. It's great. Today, I got my hands on a film camera. This is a Canon Rebel G, and it's kind of cheating because it's an automatic film camera. The main reason I got it is because it has a, uh, what is this? This is a Sigma zoom lens, 28 to 80 millimeters. Here's the thing. I bought some film and bought some batteries. So I'm going to figure out if this works. Now the first thing I know to do is check the batteries. Actually first what I'm going to do is uh, I'm load up the film. And I got ISO 400 film. I was actually pretty surprised that uh, Walgreens still sells it. So I think it goes in like that. and the batteries are dead. Alright, well it's detecting that there's film in there. Oh, here we go. Now it's taking the film. There we go. I can't wait to use this. I've uh, never used a film camera before except those disposable cameras and the whole experience of going to get it developed and then getting it printed out and everything is pretty exciting. The zoom is backwards on this lens. It's kind of annoying. I watched a quick video about this camera. All the functions are on this display right here. We have our, uh, here's our exposure, here's my aperture, number of shots I have left, exposures, I guess it's film, uh, here's my autofocus selection, here's my uh, evaluative metering, and then this display just shows that there's film in it. On here, this uh, little dial here, you have all of the main modes, like all the basic modes that you'd find on a normal digital camera, but here's this this L right here and that's lock and that just locks it. it you can't shoot any pictures the battery is still running it still says how many shots you have left and you that you have film in there let's try taking a photo real quick I don't know what I'm going to take a photo of how about some batteries let's see here there we go I'm editing this footage in uh, Premiere Pro. I'm getting the trial version. I'm going to have to probably buy a license. So I'm just trying the application out and I don't like it already. There's no way to get this program full screen. Like, so that I can't see my dock or, or my menu bar. I mean, I could hide that and then I guess I could do it like that. But I hate that. However, this is like really fast for me. I'm liking how smooth and not laggy it is. I just bought Creative Cloud for a year. I had the trial for a couple of days and I actually enjoy editing on Premiere except for the fact of that full screen. But uh, we have a photo shoot planned for this afternoon. It's me and some other friends just going downtown and hanging out, 
half of us have cameras, the others are just portrait models. All right, let's go to that.